Well, it's 15 degrees and still snowing, but rain is on the way. The ready light into the country. We've gotten probably a foot, foot and a half of snow and rain is on the way, which means we've got a bunch of snow to get off the roof so it doesn't keep our house in. And this is what we have going on here. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Almost done. Part of the roof is steep enough that it sheds snow. This part doesn't. But the part that makes it not shed snow makes it easy for us to get up here and get it off. Not so worried about the shop because it's got a sturdy roof on it. But if you had a steeper roof you had to scrape off, you could use a snow rake. We have one, but it's broken. So we're using shovels instead. But with the snow rake, you can go down on the ground and can drag the snow off from the ground, which is kind of nice. Lost my shovel. <laughs> I think you did that on purpose. <laughs> okay, be careful, buddy. Take your time. The view from up here is amazing when it's not cloudy. And you can see the solar array is covered up, but it will shed probably automatically once it warms up and starts raining, but I may assist it. So that's what's going on on the homestead. Oh, and if you've ever wondered what your stovepipe cap looks like when it's burning, you can see it looks like it's got a bunch of creosote on it, but when you look in through there, it's actually quite clear. There's not, not much caked up at all, just a, just a little bit of a lining of creosote. And so that's not bad. Let's see, there we go. So it's not too bad. And um, I have actually cut out this end and this end of my stove cap because it was caking up and it would get plugged up. This way leaves it more open where it's less likely to get plugged up. And here comes Nathan retrieving his shovel. Watch your step. Okay.